24 years ago, an Indian couple moved to a remote place in Tamil Nadu to settle a simple living in the village surrounding. It was a piece of dry, abandoned, desert land with no flowers and trees, only sand and thorn plants under the intense sun. They had a daring ambition to forest the land. So why didn't you choose a place which had more vegetation? One of the reasons was economic, he didn't have much money. But the other thing was the challenge of trying to bring back a forest on a plot of land which was completely degraded. If we could do it here, we could have done it anywhere. And it would be an inspiration for people everywhere to bring back vegetation on the earth. For your age. It took nearly 10 years to transform this place into what it is now. A green home for the outstanding wild nature which gives peace and beauty for one to live here. That was not the last challenge. Soon after, we decided to open a school. The school was for my children. I did not want my children to suffer the kind of uh, education I suffered. I felt that children have a natural instinct to learn and if they are happy and the environment is uh, thought provoking, they will learn on their own. So that's what this whole school is about, to allow the children to learn at their own pace in a happy environment. Well, I've joined in Pubidam in 2000. So after uh, my schooling, I was uh, just doing nothing like uh, roaming around and going for some labor work and all like that. When I came here, at first uh, I saw uh, Umesh was wearing a trouser and Minakshi was wearing a chudidar, which is uh, very uh, rare in our area because we have seen people wearing dhotis and saris like that. When you see people are uh, wearing a different cloth, it's I didn't expect that they will be wearing these kind of clothes. So I studied in Puridam till 6th and I moved to another school. From my experiences uh, in other schools, the education is just based upon the syllabus and we only study what is there. We don't study, they don't tell us why we are studying it, what we are studying it for. And it's mostly just memorizing and writing it again. So we don't learn anything, we just do it. Uh, we started uh, the school with three children only, Kannan, uh, Kaya and uh, Minakshi second daughter Mahua. So when they said uh, no stick, no books, no board, no chalk piece, uh, I was uh, puzzled. What kind of school is this and how can we uh, teach without textbooks and uh, uh, stick? It was a puzzle for me but still I wanted to give it a try and uh, later uh, I came to know that uh, schooling is whatever we give, the children will pick up. From the very beginning, school never limited itself to the academic syllabus. Instead, there was a lot of dedication to diverse activities, such as organic farming, which is without the use of pesticides and chemicals, and with natural fertilizers. Every Wednesday, students go for a forest walk to enjoy the nature and the beauty of silence. The list of activities kept enlarging, including art, painting and clay work. So this one completely handmade. And a completely natural material like uh, we make paper only, waste paper completely. So we make a paper pulp and uh, then before we make uh, our armature like uh, iron rods. We put iron rods, then we make that uh, uh, shape, then we paste some newspaper rolls, then we put uh, paper pulp. So this is an artwork, it's made from a uh, waste pipe that's used. So the waste pipe is cut into small pieces and stuck like this. This work is made uh, by children and 
with some help of the teachers. This time, more and more children wanted to join the school. It didn't take long to have many students. Today, the school's influence is far beyond the campus area. Once in a while, the whole school goes for garbage collecting in the surrounding area. We do a lot of practical work like gardening and we do our class cleaning by ourselves. Where we live there, there are many trees. It is very clean without any garbage. And here we don't follow the syllabus. We understand, we learn for our own self. If anyone doesn't want to learn, they don't need to. But then here we learn because we want to. not because you are told to. In Puvidam, these children are learning in a different way. Everything they are doing, uh, learning by doing. I guess what was most important for me in Puvidam is the very fact that this school has been started in the middle of the village with uh, children from the surrounding area, with teachers who are not the ones who came from all over the country because they believe in the philosophy of uh, democratic education or whatsoever, but basically teachers who are also from those villages who just got interested in the school and joined it, based on perhaps one person's passion and belief. And it proves to me that, you know, all those typical points that Alternative education cannot be run with uh, not qualified people. That alternative education requires the teachers who has a great passion and deep philosophy behind. That alternative education requires a lot of money and great infrastructure and it can be only in the cities and not in the rural area. All of that is wrong. And Povidam is a great example to show just the opposite. Our aim is to try not to teach, but allow the children to learn. And we think that uh, one learns through life. So we have a lot of activities related to life. Uh, mainly it is organic farming. Then we do spinning, weaving, carpentry, clay work. All this is a part of living. And through that the children learn everything that they need to learn. Their concepts become clear, their hearts become pure and compassionate and we feel that this is more important than uh, academics and concepts. We need, the children need to learn about themselves and about their community and their environment and relate to it. student should be educated in such a way that his mind, heart and hand are all in it together.